Hello YouTube, my name is Josh and I want to welcome you to our channel. So today's video is all about Paperspace and we're talking about it because Paperspace is updating their pricing and I know that that affects a lot of you. So I'm making a quick video just discussing what exactly is changing and how it affects you and what you should be prepared for. So we're going to go over some of the specific changes and we're going to talk about who's affected and that's all coming up next. Paperspace recently sent out an email to existing subscribers informing them that their prices are increasing. This is going to be for both the monthly storage fee and for the hourly rate. Now thankfully, Paperspace has a handy website that outlines all of the changes that are coming and you will find a link for that website in the description below, but we will touch on a few of the changes just so you guys know what to expect. So the changes start on July 6th, 2018 and Basically, they're going to start by changing the pricing for machines that are created in the future. So starting on July 6th, so all the new pricing will apply to the new machines. Now, if you have an existing machine that predates June 29th, 2018, then you actually will get locked into the existing pricing and it won't change unless you either delete the machine or upgrade that machine. If you do, then the, the new machine you create or the upgraded machine will have the new rates. So let's go over the pricing a little bit. The storage rates are not all changing. Some of them are. So the 50 gigabyte standard plan is still $5 per month, but all the other plans get a little bit of a bump. So as an example, my machine right now has 250 gigabytes of storage, and right now I'm paying $7 a month for that. If I change the machine or create a new machine, that same plan is going to be $10 per month in the future, and you'll see a little bit of a bump across the other storage levels as well. So these are monthly rates. And then for the hourly rate, the P4000 is bumping from 40 cents an hour up to 51 cents. The P5000 is going from 65 cents an hour up to 78 cents. So there's a little bump right there. But what does that actually mean? So what's the bottom line? How does that affect you? I'll give you an example. So right now, my machine has a P5000. It's got 250 gigabytes of storage, and I do have a public IP assigned to it, which is an extra $3 a month right now. If I was going to create that same machine again with the new rates, my price would basically go up just a little bit over $6 per month for the machine, which isn't bad, honestly. But that gives you an idea of what kind of a bump we're looking at. So that's basically it. Like I said, the majority of these changes only apply to new machines that are created in the future, and they will only apply to you if you update your machine or delete and recreate it. So just be aware of that as you think about what to do in the future because the prices do go up just a little bit. Now, this does apply to both machines that are created directly through the Paperspace website or app and to Parsec users. So if you have a Parsec machine, then be aware that these changes apply to you as well, and you can expect some of those changes to be coming on the same dates. And that's really it for this video. At least you guys are in the know right now. You know exactly what to expect from the future, so it won't be a surprise. And we'd love to hear from you. So let us know in the comments how you feel about these changes. Will they affect how you use the service or whether you use the service at all? We'd love to know. And just like always, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, consider doing so. There's a lot of videos just like this one where we discuss all kinds of game streaming and cloud gaming, and we are the best resource for anything that you want to know. Be sure to follow us on our website at flickstick.com. And until next time, my name is Josh, and you guys have a good one.